What should be added to x square plus xy plus y square to obtain 2x squared plus 3xy? So this expression that is x squared plus xy plus y squared. Now what should we add to this expression that so that we obtain this 2x squared plus 3xy? Let's suppose that we have to add a. Let's suppose that we have to add a. Of course, a is going to be an algebraic expression, but we don't know. So let's denote this expression with a and whatever result will come, we will write it here. So let's add an algebraic expression a to x squared plus xy plus y squared to obtain 2x squared plus 3xy. Again, as I have done in the earlier video, always keep expressions within a bracket so that you don't get confused. Okay. Usually we get confused if we don't use a bracket in a negative sign, usually. Okay. So this is one expression, this is another expression and we have added an expression a that we don't know what its value is. So now let's find it. So this a becomes, if we take uh, x squared plus xy plus y squared, this expression towards uh, to the right side. So 2x squared plus 3xy minus, because when it will go to the right, this will become minus x squared plus xy plus y squared. Right now, open the brackets now. 2x squared plus 3xy minus outside the bracket, within the bracket is plus sign, so this becomes minus x squared minus outside the bracket plus within the bracket, so minus plus means minus xy minus outside the bracket plus within the bracket, so again minus y squared. Now Let's rewrite this as 2x squared plus 3xy and plus put all the negative terms within the bracket. So this becomes minus x squared plus minus xy plus minus y squared. Now, if you look at this expression that we have finally got after subtracting these two expressions, we have 2x squared here and we have minus x squared here. These two terms are like terms. So 2x squared and plus minus x squared means what? 2x squared minus x squared and this gives you x squared. So this becomes x squared. Now this plus 3xy and minus xy, these two are like terms. And just as we did, as we have done in the case of this one, we will do same thing for 3xy and that is 3xy plus minus xy. This becomes 3xy minus xy and you get 2xy. You get 2xy, right? So plus 2xy. Now what is left here? It's plus minus y squared that is minus y square. Let's rearrange it. x squared, let's bring it here, minus y squared plus 2xy. We have simply rearranged it. So it was all what? Actually a. It was all a. I forgot you know, to write it here. So a comes as x squared minus y squared plus 2xy. So this is the algebraic expression which when added to this expression, uh, the outcome is 2x squared plus 3xy, okay? What should be subtracted from 2a plus ap plus 10 to get this expression, minus 3a plus 7b plus 16? So 2a plus 8p plus 10. Let's suppose that we subtract a from this expression again a a is of course going to be, is uh, an algebraic expression 
What is that expression? We don't know. We can only obtain it after solving it. And so that you get, if you subtract this a from this, you get minus 3a. Again, put both the expressions within the bracket, within brackets, minus 3a plus 7b plus 60. Right? Now, here this is minus a. So what I'm going to do is write it as 2a plus 8b plus 10. Take this minus a towards the right. So this becomes minus 3a plus 7b plus 16 plus a. Right? This is minus. So when it comes towards the right, it becomes plus a. Now, this is 2a plus 8b plus 10 bring this expression towards the left so this is positive expression because when inside the bracket it's actually positive so when it will come to to the left it becomes negative here 2a plus 8b plus 10 so can you clearly see the importance of bracket sorry it's 3a i'm sorry it's 3 minus 3a plus 7b plus 16 we have you know what we have done is we have simply shifted this uh, expression to the right so since outside the bracket was plus when it will move to the right it becomes negative this is equal to what a right now open the bracket we have 2a plus 8b plus 10 now, outside the bracket is minus, inside the bracket is minus, so minus fights with minus makes it positive. So this becomes plus 3a. Outside the bracket is minus, within the bracket is plus sign, so minus fights with plus makes it minus. So minus 7b. Outside is minus, inside is positive, so it becomes minus 16 is equal to a. Now, if you look at 2a, sorry, 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 let's now make some little changes, rewrite this as 2a plus 8b plus 10 plus 3a, now plus, this is minus, so minus 7b, because we always, you know, put the negative sign with the terms. Because if we do not use the bracket, so sometimes you may, you know, ignore this minus sign and your calculation can, can, the outcome of the calculation can be wrong. So this is again plus minus 16. Right? Now, look at this term 2a and this term 3a. 2a and 3a are like terms. So this becomes 2a plus 3a. Right? So let's group them together. 2a plus 3a. Then plus, if you look at 8b and minus 7b, these two are like terms. Let them add them together. Let's add them together. So this is 8b, 8b plus this term is minus 7b. We simply go on adding the terms together, like terms together. Then plus, we have this 10 and minus 16. So add them together. This is 10 plus and this is minus 16. So this gives you 5a and this is what 8b plus outside the bracket inside is minus so it's minus 7b plus 10 minus 16 is equal to a 5a 8b minus 7b means b only so that is 1b so we usually uh, we ignore you know uh, the uh, if the coefficient is 1 we simply ignore it so plus b and this is 10 minus 16 means what minus 6 so this comes as minus 6 because plus outside the bracket inside is minus 6 Plus minus means minus minus 6 is equal to a. So this is the algebraic expression which when subtracted from this 
the outcome is this expression. So this is the answer. In this case, what should be taken away from 3x squared minus 4y squared plus 5xy plus 20 to obtain this one? Again, same question. What should be taken away means simply subtraction. Taken away means subtraction. So the algebraic expression is what? 3x squared minus 4y squared plus 5xy plus 20, right? And let's suppose that the algebraic expression that we subtract from this is a. So that we get what? Minus x squared minus y squared plus 6xy plus 20. Now, let's take this expression that is a. If this is minus a, when it will go towards the right, it becomes plus a. So, 3x squared minus 4y squared plus 5xy plus 20 and this gives you minus x squared minus y squared plus 6xy plus 20 and this is plus a. This gives you 3x squared minus 4y squared plus 5xy plus 20. Now this is within the bracket and outside the bracket is what actually if there is no sign means that it's actually plus so when it moves to the left it becomes minus just as we have done in the previous question minus x squared minus y squared plus 6xy plus 20 is equal to a. This comes gives us now open the bracket 3x squared minus 4y squared plus 5xy plus 20. Now outside the bracket is minus, inside the bracket is minus, means plus x squared minus outside minus inside plus y squared minus outside, in, outside plus inside minus 6xy minus outside plus inside minus 20 is equal to a. Let's rewrite it. 3x squared plus minus 4y squared plus 5xy plus 20 plus x squared plus y squared plus within the bracket minus 6xy plus within the bracket minus 20 is equal to a. Now, Look at this term 3x squared and this x squared. So simply add them together. So 3x squared plus x squared. Now plus this minus 4y squared and y squared. These two are like terms. So minus 4y squared. Sorry minus 4y squared plus y squared then 5xy minus 6xy add them together so this is 5xy plus minus 6xy then plus 20 and minus 20 these two are like terms. So add them together. This is 20 plus minus 20. This gives you a. Now solve it. 3x squared plus x squared means 4x squared plus this is minus 4y squared plus y squared plus this is 5xy minus 6xy plus this is 20 minus 20. This is equal to a. 4x squared minus 4y squared plus y squared means minus 3y squared. Plus outside the bracket, within the bracket comes minus 3y squared. So when you open the bracket, this will be minus 3y squared. Then 5xy minus 6xy means what? Minus 1xy. 
we ignore the coefficient 1 or minus 1 because we don't use it. So minus xy within the bracket, outside is plus, so minus xy. 20 minus 20 means 0. Therefore, this is the algebraic expression that when subtracted from this expression, you get minus x squared minus y squared plus 6xy plus 20. So this is the last example. From the sum of 4 plus 3x and 5 minus 4x plus 2x squared, subtract the sum of these two expressions. So let's denote the first sum as a. The sum is 4 plus, sorry, 4 plus 3x plus 5 minus 4x plus 2x squared. If you add these two, you get what? Open the bracket 4 plus 3x plus 5. Outside is plus, inside is minus, so minus 4x and then plus 2x squared. Okay. So if you look at, look here, this 2x squared has no other like term. Okay. It, it's, it's, alone in this expression. So simply write it here, 2x squared. Because we usually write that term first in an expression at the first position, which is usually high in power. Like here it is 2x squared, rest is 4x and 3x. So this is the term which is high in power. So 2x squared now plus, here we have 3x and here we have minus 4x. Right? These two are actually like terms. These two are actually like terms. So, or maybe we should first, you know, rearrange these terms so that you don't get confused. Okay. Let me rearrange it. So, this becomes 4 plus 3x. Not rearrange it, but rewrite it. Plus, within the bracket, minus 4x and plus 2x squared. Now, we first write 2x squared because it's high in power. Then if you look at this, 3x and minus 4x are like terms. So simply add them together. So this becomes 3x plus minus 4x, right? And then 4 and 5 are like terms. So put them together. 4 plus 5. This gives you 2x squared. 3x and minus 4x means what? Minus x. So this is minus x and plus 9. So the sum of these two terms is a. Let's, uh, and that comes this much. Let's denote the sum of the next two terms, pair of ter expressions as b and let's add them together. So 3x squared minus 5x plus minus x squared plus 2x plus 5. Open the brackets. This gives you 3x squared, sorry. 3x squared minus 5x plus outside the bracket, inside the bracket is minus, so minus x squared plus outside, inside is plus, so plus 2x plus outside, inside is plus, so plus 5. Now, if you look, let's rewrite it. 3x squared plus within the bracket minus 5x plus within a bracket minus x squared plus 2x and plus 5. Now, this is 3x squared. It's alone here. It doesn't have any like term. So simply write it 3x squared. Let's be 3x squared. Now, plus this minus 5x and minus, I'm sorry, here we have a like term. I'm really, really sorry. I'm sorry. So, if you look at this expression, 3x squared and minus x squared are like terms. So, add them together. 3x squared plus, within the bracket, minus x squared, then plus, this minus 5x and 2x are like terms. Add them together. 
you get minus 5x and plus 2x then it's alone that is plus 5 it doesn't have a like term so this is 3x square and this becomes minus x square so becomes what 2x squared then plus uh, or let's wait minus 5x plus 2x means minus 3x so outside is plus inside is minus so this gives minus 3x and plus 5 so the add sum of the next pair of these two expressions is this much now you have to subtract this b from a what you have to perform is a minus b a minus b let's do this so a minus b will be i'm removing this i need space so a minus b will be 2x squared minus x plus 9 minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 right we have to subtract these two let's open the brackets 2x squared minus x plus 9 minus outside inside is positive so minus 2x squared minus outside minus inside means plus 3x minus outside plus inside means minus 5 now let's rewrite this 2x squared plus within the bracket minus x plus 9 plus within the bracket minus 2x squared plus 3x plus within the bracket minus 5 okay now 2x squared sorry 2x squared and minus 2x squared these two are like terms let's add them together so you get 2x squared plus within the bracket minus 2x squared we are adding these two terms and this second term is negative then plus this minus x and this 3x are like terms add them together so minus x plus 3x right then 9 and minus 5 are like terms add them together so 9 plus minus 5 in the bracket now solve it if you solve it this comes as 2x squared minus 2x squared if you open the bracket then let's open the bracket here this is minus x plus 3x then this is 9 minus 5 this is what this comes as 0 and this is minus x plus 3x means what plus 2x 9 minus 5 means what 4 so you get what 2x plus 4 so if you are subtracting b from a what's b b is sum of these two expressions and what's a a is sum of these two expressions that we found here that we have found here so this is a minus b is equal to 2x plus 4 this is the answer